I've got with me an 858 Grand Orchestra 12-string guitar. When I had first approached building the Grand Orchestra, my primary intent was to build a hugely dynamic, real touch-sensitive guitar in a large package. I needed to change all of the internal architecture. The bracing was rethought, it was reconceived along similar design strokes, if you will, but geared specifically to make a 12-string guitar work well in this context. A six-string version is a significantly different instrument inside than the 12-string, but what I get is the similarity in power and sustain and dynamic range, even touch sensitivity. So now I've got a massively powerful, thick 12-string guitar that satisfies the needs of a person who wants to, wants to really support their music and get, get that thick chord out there. Out of an 858, a player can expect dynamic range, a huge, full, rich sonority and power. If they're looking to, to strum chords, to lay into the guitar, really, really put their, their expressive self into that thing, the 858's gonna deliver with a huge voice. This guitar, I built it and voiced it knowing that as part of the 800 series, it would use the thin finish, be constructed with protein glues, have this optimized wood thicknessing and of course a new bracing scheme to make this guitar work its very best. So all of these things adding up to a, a Sitka rosewood guitar with this huge expressive voice meant to bring out the best in a player.